you be doing a video here on the channel today i'm making a video on a question that i got in the comments a couple of weeks ago which is how to transfer dinos between servers or onto another maps as well as items that will all be covered in today's video so how are you all doing hopefully you're having a fantastic day if you enjoy this video or find it helpful in any way make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to become a human being really appreciate all of you on the way to 3,000 subs really honestly appreciate you so basically you have these obelisks scattered around the map uh, there's only three so it's not like a huge scattered you'll have these on each map and this is the terminal that you're going to be using to transfer your dinos across to another map now okay so a key word for you to know for this if you're on maps if you're on a multiplayer server and not single player you need to know the word cluster so if you're on an official cluster server that means that it's got more than one server it's in a cluster which means you could transfer between those servers or you transfer your character between those servers so um you want to keep an eye out for make sure your server has the download and upload feature and you can transfer to other arcs because if you can't you won't lose your character but there is a risk of losing your character like every time doing this there is a risk of losing your character because arc glitches all the time so i'll be showing you single player but the steps are exactly the same in multiplayer apart from in multiplayer you could do this from uh, loot drops like over there so you got the drop coming down there you can do it from there as well as um, any other standard loot drop that's on the map but on single player you can only do it through the obelisk terminals which is very cool so we've got two creatures with us today uh, let's chuck a little saddle on this guy there we go we chucked a nice little saddle on this guy and then we'll chuck some stuff in its inventory let's get some of this element from some boss testing that i was doing the other day uh, same with you chuck some of that in very nice okay so when you got your creatures you bring them over to the obelisk either cryopod them and bring them over or carry them like this you're going to go up to the obelisk and go to access inventory and instead of going to the tribute tab where you can fight the creatures you're going to go to the creatures tab where you can see it's got here creatures list and it's listing your rex and or your dodo or whatever other creature um, and what you're going to do is you're just going to click on that and you're going to press this button so whatever creature you want you're going to press that button and it's going to say are you sure you want to upload the creature data this will lead to destroying your creature or losing it you click yes Right, and now the dodo has vanished. And if you click back on the terminal and go to creatures, as you can see, the dodo is now in the uploaded tames. Normally, not in single player, but on servers, you'll have an expiry time. So you've got to make sure that you transfer across to the new server, get to another obelisk or drop, and re-download your creatures. Um, otherwise, you're going to lose them on that expiry time. Each server will change depending on what the server settings are. So if we click on the dodo, we can actually bring it back out. So we can download the creature, and as you can see, just brought it back out. Um, every time you upload a creature, it drops all its inventory. Just remember that. So you might want to make sure that there's nothing in the dino's inventory. So what we're going to do again is this time we're going to just upload both of these. So we're going to upload the dodo, and then we're going to upload the rex. And remember, it drops its inventory. So as you can see right here, that inventory has been dropped, as well as the saddle. So make sure you take the saddles off before you do this. And then you're going to have to upload your character. To do that, you go to Upload Survivor. But remember, if you do this, you will drop all of your items. So be careful when doing this. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to transfer my entire inventory over into the obelisk. So mine's a little bit bugged out now where I'm having to individually drag each item that I want to take. But just to note, you can't take with you element. And you can't take... Oh no, you can take skin, sorry, but you can't take trophies like this. Um, you can take flags and normal skins, but trophies and... Um, apex drop items I don't have any on me right here but any apex drop items you can't take across with you to another map um, so just be aware of that no element and no apex items so once you've done that that's all in your arc data as you can see here arc item slots 27 out of 50 and you can also do transmitter slots you've got three creatures out of 20 uploaded and then you just click upload survivor now this will give you a quick warning saying that you've got to delete everything and it will remove your survivor and you'll drop your inventory Click OK. And as you can see, we've uploaded our survivor. You go to this screen, and now you're just going to leave the game. Hold escape if you're on PC. Go exit to main menu. Once you're at the main menu, go back to host and go to a map that you want to transfer your character to. Preferably a map that doesn't have a save. Because if you have a save on there, it's just going to mess up a little bit. So we're going to go to Scorched Earth right now. And we're going to play this on dedicated to single player. It doesn't matter as long as it's a single player. This is the same process on a server. You upload your character. You exit the server. 
and then jump into another server that is within that cluster. So it would be like official server island, official server scorched. As you can see, as we jump in here, it's giving me a new screen with my character with the stats. You're going to click download survivor. If it doesn't come up with this screen and you get this screen, do not panic. There's download survivor right here. Click that. You can click on this guy. Download your survivor. Yeah, pick a spot to spawn. And as you see, you have now just transferred your character to the new arc, which is very cool. Okay, so you know you're in the new arc, you're here, you've got nothing in your inventory because you lost everything. How do you get all your stuff back? You have to make your way to another obelisk. Now I'm just going to go to creative mode. There we go, we're in creative mode just so I can fly over it. So you've got to go to another obelisk, it could be any colour, as long as you've got an obelisk. Be careful of the evil stuff, as you can see there are some capros there, which we do not want. Go away. Okay, so you go to the obelisk. You open the obelisk, you got your arc data right here, you can just start dragging all this out. Unfortunately, you can't use this, so you have to manually click on it all. And then go to creatures tab and download your creatures. And then the game crashes. Okay, we're back in after we got the whole glitch where it kicked us out and crashed. That's arc for you, and sometimes you do lose your character from this, but I mean, it's the risk that you pay. Luckily, it did save. So it's not like a big issue, which just brought us back to where we were before the crash. Nothing's came out. Um, so I do recommend doing admin cheat, save world before you do anything when you go onto the new map, just so it saves. And then open up the terminal and try again. This time we'll try and get the Rex. There we go. And we're going to try the Dodo one more time. That crashed us out last time. And as you can see, we've now got our two dinos in this new biome and this new map. The crash did make me lose the arc save data that I dragged to my inventory. So just be aware of that. So I did drag a bunch of stuff to my inventory, but then when arc crashed, it restored it to the last save that it knew, which was before I done this. And that stuff was redrew out of the arc data. Uh, think of it as being in the cloud. You redrew it out of that cloud. You died or your game crashed. Your game reset back to a date, which was uh, like two minutes before I actually done that. And all that stuff's already been took out of the cloud and no longer there. That's the way you got to think about it. I have known people that have uploaded creatures from one map, gone into the second map, downloaded the creatures, crashed, and then lost the creatures. Something to be wary of with the upload and download. Um, it does happen to people. It is a pain. Uh, but just so make sure you make them regular backups. Anyways, guys, that's how to transfer your creatures, your items, and your saved character all over to different maps within single player. And the process is the same for multiplayer. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like them. Subscribe to become a human being. I'll see you in the next episode of Fantastic Day. Bye.